pound wall sheet, Wooly. What is saving? Saving is when you take a portion of your earnings and instead of spending it now, you park it away to use later. Your earnings could be from a job, freelancing, or a business. It could also be your allowance or chore money. The money that you park away for the future is called your savings. How can I start saving? The easiest way is to simply set aside a portion of your income before spending on discretionary expenses. But it's much easier to save when you have a specific goal in mind, whether that's a long-term goal like college education or retirement, or a short-term goal like taking a vacation or buying a bike. With a specific goal, you'll be motivated knowing that you're saving for something you really want. If you can't think of a specific goal, you can save money for a rainy day or for an emergency, like a health emergency or job loss. Once you have a goal you want to save for, you can open a savings account at a bank and begin depositing money into the account. Should I spend or save first? You have to strike a balance between the money you spend and the money you save, and this balance is different for everybody. But as a general rule, after spending on essentials like rent, utilities, etc., you should first save a portion of the remaining income and then spend on non-essentials. Why is saving important? Saving gives you peace of mind, teaches you to distinguish between needs and wants, fosters good money management habits, and most importantly, helps to achieve your goals faster. For example, if you are saving to buy a gaming console and happen to like some expensive shoes, you would be forced to weigh whether or not it's worth getting the shoes and delaying getting the gaming console. The habit of saving helps you make smart money choices by automatically reducing unnecessary purchases. How much money should I save? The exact amount you should save varies from person to person, but as a general rule, you should save at least 10% of your disposable income. A good way to find out how much you can afford to save is by keeping a journal of all your expenses and deciding which ones you're okay living without. Then start cutting out some of these non-essential purchases and instead save that money towards more meaningful goals. Thank you very much, Wall Street Willie. You're welcome, Super Cooper. Remember, finance is your friend. If you enjoyed this video, check out related videos and playlists in the description box below.